Hi everyone, Patty here once again. Um, I'm going to show you some of the books that I started off with when I started doing polymer clay. Um, these are pretty recent. Um, some of I, some of the other ones, I started going to the library and checking them out. So that is a real good place to start the library. They have lots of books on polymer clay and stuff like that, and these books can be rather expensive. So. You can always watch some of my tutorials or how-to type things and you can also go to the library and check um, some books out. Um, that would be my suggestion. And So I'm going to show you some of the books. Um, this one is Creative Canes by uh, uh, Barbara McGuire. And it shows you how to make all these cool like beads and stuff. I'll just show you a little bit inside. Shows you all the basics. Shows you how to make canes. And Skinner Blend. That's a Skinner Blend. And I, I started off learning off of these books and then I started with my own ideas. Which was the rainbow cane that everybody loves. But I don't keep secrets so... I'm going to share my tips and tricks, but um, I'm still working on that. I would have to make another one to do it, so it takes me a couple of days, So, and plus I've been going back and forth with some um, health issues, so yeah. So this is a really good book to start off with, Creative Canes, and it has 30 um, cane techniques with polymer clay. That's a good one to start off with. And here is uh, another one. It's called, I can't believe I'm creating Melifori. Who knew poly polymer clay could be so stunning? Yep. So this is more like it shows you the ovens and stuff and um, pasta machine, different types of clay. Also shows you how to make um, your own head pins and stuff like that. And it shows you how to make a Skinner blend. A Skinner blend. This is how the Skinner blend starts off. Two triangles of two different colors and then you pass it through the pasta machine and you pass it once again and then again and then again and then they'll start blending together to make different shades of blue. And this is a Skinner blend um, jelly roll cane. And it teaches you all this stuff. This is where I started, so it would be a good investment if you're um, gonna be doing uh, a lot of cl uh, clay work. So, yeah. So, yeah. So this is another good one. Yep. And this is another one. Clay techniques with a pasta machine. Now, if you're going to really get into doing polymer clay, I would suggest to get a pasta machine. It helps a lot. It, you know, working with the clay so much with your hands, it really beats up your hands. So, it would be a good investment. I know you can get a pasta machine at um, Joann's or Michael's for $24.99. And if you use a 40% off coupon, even better. But yeah, so here's this, this book. And most of these books you can get at Michael's, I think, or Joann's, and at Barnes & Noble's, or you can get them online. I will try eBay, try to get them cheaper there, but, or your um, local library could have them, never know. So, let's look inside of this one right quick. So it's basically the same techniques as all the other books, it just has different types of, oh, I have a receipt in there. <laughs> It just shows you how to make buttons and all these pastel looking canes. How to make a heart. How to make different Skinner blends. All sorts of little projects. There's a light switch. Beads. 
Yep, so that's another good one. And then I think a lot of people have shown this one, Polymer Clay Cookbook. This book is awesome. It teaches you how to make all these little things. Cupcake, french fries, um, cinnamon roll, gingerbread cookie, ice cream. I know lots of people on um, YouTube, the YouTubers like to make little things like this and I think they're so cute. And a lot of you guys are really talented too. I mean, it's amazing. When I started clay, there wasn't that many people. I mean, there's a couple people that were really awesome at, make, at making these kind of things. But, I mean, the younger they are, the better they are now. Yeah. So, yeah, this is another good book. This one you can get at Barnes & Nobles. And I think you can get it on Amazon, too. And it shows you, you know, different tools you can use. And how to do a snake with different colors and do a pumpkin pie and talks to you about glazes and stuff like that a hamburger earring ain't that cute I make bananas Sweet banana and a watermelon um, cane slices to make earrings and coffee, coffee cups with little coffee, polymer clay coffee beans. Ain't that cute? Cinnamon rolls. I think it's about noon where I am, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's noon. Yeah, and I just woke up since I work nights and. <laughs> Cinnamon roll and coffee sounds great right about now. So, but I wanted to get some videos done so I have videos to upload during the week. Here's a waffle. And it shows you how to make a little hamburger. And sushi, my favorite. I love sushi. I'm gonna try to get my husband to take me to go eat sushi for my birthday, so. Yeah. So this is another great book, the Polymer Clay Cookbook. And then, last but not least, um, The Art of Polymer Clay, Melifuori, I can never say this right, Techniques, by um, Donna Cato. This girl, this lady is awesome. She even has her own brand of clay. Um, you can, um, there is um, a website called Poly Polymer Clay Express. And they sell all the tools for polymer clay and um, they sell every single clay there is. So there are some German ones that are um, we don't really see here, but they're really good clays. They're, they're as hard as Fimo, but they're um, softer to work with. So maybe I'll show you guys in another video what th that one looks like. I buy it a lot from Polymer Clay Express. They are a small company, but... And it takes them a couple days to get your order out, but it, they're really good. I mean, I have never had a problem with them. And I just bought some, um, I don't know if you know, um, back in the day, Primo used to have these um, fluorescent colors. And I bought a um, whole bunch of them because they went out of, um, they didn't make, they stopped making them. So, I mean, I had to get them because they were my favorite color. So I got a, a whole bunch of them. And maybe I'll offer them in trade. Because, I mean, some of you guys started um, later on and probably didn't see these colors, but they are so vibrant. It's not even funny. But uh, I don't have any any on me, so um, when I do another video, I'll show you guys. But um, this is another good book. And this is a book that is really cool, like all the little cane stuff that she does. And here's her... Um, the clay she has, Cato Poly Clay. And this stuff is actually harder than um, Fimo. Fimo was, it was one of the hardest clays. I mean, after you bake it, it would be really hard. But then um, Cato Poly Clay now is the, one of the hardest clays. So, yeah. So 
but yeah shows you all the glues and stuff you can use all the different tools that are out there some of her work sorry guys I veered off and how to do like this type of stuff yeah so this is another great book so I hope you guys enjoy <laughs> I can't even talk now <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed um, uh, my books and um, what I think of them and if you guys are interested in any of them you can always look for them on Amazon um, Michael's, Joann's, eBay or just go to your local library that's what I would do yeah alright take care everyone bye